in this Monkey 1000. Um, so most of you know what has happened. Um, my father passed away on Wednesday the 22nd of April. He, um, you know, he suffered a lot. He had both his legs amputated and he had gone from one infection to another, um, always with antibiotics in him. And it would work for a while and then he'd get another infection. So he's last one time he, um, Friday, I guess he was doing very well. As you know, I hadn't seen him in two months because of the lockout down in the nursing home. So um, I did call every day so they knew I was around. So um, Friday, I guess he was doing pretty good. He was learning how to use his legs. Um, his prosthesis, they start small. He was like only four feet tall and he was using um, his walker to push and I guess um, he was actually on Friday was chasing the doctor down the hallway. He was doing that well. By then uh, he had complications on Monday. Um, he was, his catheter was giving him a problem which he has had before and um, so they had to pull it out and put a new one in and I guess he was in a lot of pain when they did that. He was screaming. It was so bad. After that, he started Tuesday. He did not um, wake up too much. He slept a lot. He didn't eat much. And um, by Wednesday, um, he couldn't really respond. He could see you a little bit. My father was only seeing shadows at this point anyways. Um, his eyes were going from the diabetes. So um, he, uh, he, he, he could hear you, but he couldn't talk. They had to put full oxygen on him and a mask on him. And uh, they were going to put an IV in on the Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Um, they were I choose not to have him at the hospital. He was a DNR anyway, so we choose that if he went to the hospital because of this virus, that no one could um, be there because the hospitals weren't letting any other people in there in the hospital until you know just the patients were allowed to be in there. So I didn't want him to pass away by himself, so I chose to keep him at the nursing home. And my mother was happy with that. Um, so were the the, fan, the the nurses were really good to him. Um, you know they they were very upset. They passed away. They were like crying, crying. My mom said. So um, by the time they were supposed to bring the IV on uh, Wednesday at four. Um, I left at 2.30 because I had a doctor appointment. So we went to our doctor appointment. We came back and I called my mother to let her know that we, you know, how things were going. And I figured I might eat supper and then go back over there and check, you know, let the, them put the IV in and they were going to give them fluids and more antibiotics. Well, they never got there. By 4.30, by the time I got to my house, um, he had already passed away. So he, he passed away at 4.30. So, um, but that's about it. Um, <laughs> what else can you say? But I do want to thank everyone, um, you know, for all your thoughts and prayers and everything through all of this. Uh, my mom appreciates all of it. She's having it rough a little bit. Um, we have been racking our brains on what we are going to do because do I want to keep her, you know, does she want to stay in the nursing home? Does she want to be able to go to an assistant living? Um, so we kind of come up with a solution. Hopefully it will work. We'll have to do some investigating to make sure it's going to work. Um, we're going to add on to the house and we're going to add on a room for her. So she can be with us. So she, we talked. I talked to her this morning about it, and she sounded 
pretty good about it. So we're going to investigate some more and see what we can do. And all the things that we sell from, you know, her home and that, we'll put towards it so we can make her comfortable and she'll be here. So that was our solution. My father will be cremated on, I believe, Wednesday of coming up. And um, I don't know if we'll be there or not. That's up to my mother if she wants to go to that or not. Um, but later on, we will do a, a ceremony thing over in Daytona. This is our plan. Um, our family is mostly Canadian, so we have to wait until the Canadian borders open up to the United States again so my family can come down here. Um, we'll go to Daytona because that's where my parents' motel was. It was the White Sands Motel in Daytona. For 20 years they had it. So um, we want to do something over there. So um, we'll probably take a boat and take his ashes out to sea and put him out in the ocean. I'd like to try to maybe do it in front of the motel property where they used to have it. Now the motel is completely gone now. Um, as you know, um, I've made that video before I think so that's our plan it won't happen right away it could be three months I don't know as soon as the borders open up then we'll decide we can't do it you know busy time over there we'll have to do it maybe off season um, we might do it around his birthday that might be good it's kind of like an it's still hot here but it's kind of off season season because kids are in school so um, we might try to do it that then so but we will we'll let everyone know and anybody who wants to come you know uh, can come so that's it for now I bought a bunch of flowers and I'm trying to keep myself busy a little bit so I went and got some flowers yesterday and uh, going to plant some flowers and we're going to start our garden. So I'm going to kind of do a video of our garden today. Um, and I'm going to do a se separate video so you can kind of see what we're going to do. I didn't buy many plants to put in the garden, but I wanted to see, you know, how many I could put in there and stuff. So I only got a few, but I can always go get more. That's no biggie. So anyways, that's it for now. I really appreciate everyone um, for the prayers and thanks a lot. It means a lot to me and it means a lot to my mom. You know, she's having a little rough. They were married 53 years. Their wedding anniversary was in May, so he didn't make it to hit their anniversary. But that's okay. They were married a long, long time. Anyways, Monkey says she's out for now, and I hope y'all have a great weekend. And take care of yourselves. Stay safe and stay in these houses, please. Um, don't need to get the virus, and nobody else does either. It's not good. Okay? Bye!